Yo, what is good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. In today's video, we will be going over what money glitches are working and some extra information that I think will be very useful to anybody playing GTA 5 online right now or doing, you know, glitches in general. All right, so now this is what's going on. Now, I haven't been posting recently. I know, you know, about five days ago or something, I said I was back. I posted two days in a row and then it's been a couple days since I've posted again. Now, the reason for that is I'm not going to be one of those guys that just straight up, you know, pounds the same glitch down your throat, you know, multiple times in a one week. Uh, that's just not my style. I honestly get bored posting the same glitch. So, and I've done it before, but I usually wait a while. You know, if a glitch is working for like two weeks, then for sure, I'll definitely repost it just to remind people that yes, it's still working. But this glitch right here that I will be talking about soon uh, hasn't been around for that long. So, you know, I'll basically just leave uh, links for you guys. But this is what's going on right now, okay? So there's two working solo money glitch methods, all right? So it's the same money glitch, but there's two different ways to do it. Now, both methods are solo, one a little bit more solo than the other, I guess. But basically, the first link I'm going to put down there in the description for you is method one. Uh, excuse me. Now, method one, basically, the way you're getting glitched out is over in the facility. Now... It's solo, but some people might call it semi-solo because you do have to introduce a friend into the mix, but you don't have to talk to your friend, nothing like that. You just need a friend on the friends list that is in a different targeting mode. Okay, so that's the only thing, but I will say getting glitched out this way is a little bit easier than getting glitched out in method two. All right, so I definitely recommend method one if you're going to be doing the solo money glitch. So I have that link posted first for you guys if you want to check that out. Uh, some little tidbits about people failing this glitch or the one main thing that keeps happening to everybody is when your retro is in the bunker basically it despawns when you're done with the glitch now i've come up with three different reasons on why this is possible now the the main one the obvious one obviously is uh that you called out a personal vehicle during the glitch all right so just make sure you don't do that that's the number one way to avoid that now Number two is when you're getting glitched out at the high screen inside of the facility, some people, if you actually launch into that job, you know, and you miss the targeting mode thing and you fully launch into the lobby, your car is, will not be in the bunker after that. So you need to go back and set up the car or just do the God mode thing and then, you know, set up the car after that. It's totally up to you which way you want to do it. But that is probably one of the biggest reasons why your cars are despawning. And even if you do the targeting mode trick, but it kicks you off, you know, so you don't even fully load into the lobby. It actually just kicks you out uh, before you get to the lobby and then you're back into the heist room. Even if it does that, guys, the car will despawn. I tested it today. I did this glitch multiple times today just to see what the reason for that was. And that was the one thing that kept happening to me was failing the part getting glitched out in the heist room. Now, the other reason, the third reason is I just put down basically shit just happens. All right. Sometimes that car despawns for no reason. All right. I've been doing the glitch, but, you know, a lot before we had a few different methods where we were actually using, you know, that glitch spot in the bunker. And yeah, the car would just despawn sometimes. So that will happen. Just make sure you don't fully launch into any jobs, no lobbies, nothing like that. All right. And the car won't despawn for you. Hopefully it won't. All right, but those are the main things for that method one. That is the one I recommend. Now, method two is still pretty good, too. All right, both of them entail having to be in a God mode glitch state and then, you know, duping the cars in the same method. So the second method, which is link two, that is the one where you're getting God mode glitched out at the TV screen in one of your 10 car garages. OK, so that is that method. Now, this method I put as the second option just because it is a little bit trickier and it's more random, really, at least with the alerts and stuff. At least if you're on PS4, you can time it a little bit better on Xbox. The timing is a bit harder for sure. Uh, alerts are never consistent in how fast they actually pop up. So that's one big downside about Xbox and just glitches in general that have to do with alerts. But in this case, with PS4, I do think method one is the one to go with. All right. In method two, there's a little bit of timing. Uh, but, you know, and like I said, it's just random and there is more timing than in method one. So method two is definitely the one that I'd like to, you know, promote the more uh, more of now. Now that we've had a bunch of, you know, we've had a, we've had a bunch of dupe glitches, honestly, since the uh, DLC came out recently. So I just wanted to remind people daily sell limit rules do still apply. All right. I'll leave a link down in the description. It should be the third link down there. And that link will actually lead you over to 
my video on the daily sell limit explaining all the new you know things and updated info that you guys do need to know about that subject uh, if you want a quick overview of that basically it's one car per hour is the way that we're selling so two cars in two hours that's the way you want to sell just like that so it's an hour wait time between car sales and seven cars max in 30 hours and that's if you've hit a sell limit all right if you've ever hit a daily sell limit you'll see that alert pop up when you go to sell a car if you've ever even gotten that once or if you think you may have gotten it once back in the day and you just kind of forgot only sell seven cars max a day when you we recommend you could you can definitely sell eight cars max in a day but that's for people that have never hit a sell limit uh once you've hit one then it's a lot better to actually hit the threshold all right by not uh, selling one less than the max. All right, so that's the basic rules. Uh, if you want way more in-depth info, a way longer video uh, talking about everything you need to know about the daily sell limit, this or that is the link that you want to click on. Uh, if you actually look at the video right now, uh, the one that we're we're on. <laughs> uh, if you look, I'm in a wall breach right now with the new oppressor mark ii this is an old wall breach that still works we used to get into this with the uh first oppressor and if you look at if you keep looking at the video i actually go over um i go straight up and i was screwing around with this before but i noticed that you can actually fully breach into the top of arcadius by doing this now as many of you know who've been playing the uh, the game for a while there's a wall breach up above maze bank tower all right the uh you know the big maze bank that's right there basically right across the street from here now that one you can get up there with the old oppressor as well but with this one it's a little bit different you actually come up from under the building and uh, you go straight up above so yeah if you keep watching you'll see me do the full wall breach and get up there pretty neat i don't know if anybody's actually posted that i ain't claiming founder or anything but i haven't seen it before and obviously i don't think we were able to do this before the mark ii oppressor came out just because i'm so easily able to hover uh, and fly straight up with the other oppressor it would have been a lot more difficult for sure just to aim it properly and go straight up and actually glitch through all right and for those of you that don't know actually at this point i tested it out later you can shoot your mark ii oppressor missiles i'm pretty sure they'll lock on because you can actually shoot them from up above like up at this height you can actually shoot them through that building all right so just so you guys know that but you'll see me breach through right here all you got to do is slowly go up and then when you slowly yeah once you hit this uh the wall barrier right here it'll just super like glitch out right there and then you might lose a little bit of health but eventually you will spawn on top and there you go you actually glitched up on top inside of the arcadius building all right i've never seen this before so yeah pass it around share it if you want to show other people uh you can't shoot out of this part that is the downside but you can definitely shoot out uh before you get all the way up to the top with the mark ii oppressor just hover right up there right right below this line and you should be good to go okay so yeah that's uh something i wanted to cover here i actually i was just getting footage just to make a video and then i randomly did this and yeah i thought it was pretty cool to actually you know add into the video and keep there but uh, yeah, so as for upcoming videos, there are a few other glitches working. Now, a lot of people have requested for a gift cards to friends. Uh, there is a gift cards to friends working. I'm going to try to get, you know, a friend together and actually make a video on that. It is a three person glitch, but I'll try to get that together for you. Uh, also, I've had a few requests on people asking how to fix certain dead spots as well as how to fix your M or what is it called the vehicle warehouse garage yeah so if you guys remember before this you know last big DLC that we got we were actually putting crazy vehicles aircrafts everything in our special vehicle warehouse and we were able to call them out you know all that good stuff but Rockstar uh, you know recently they decided that they wanted to kind of screw us when that DLC came out and basically what they did was like all those cars are bricked or you can't really do anything just you know the whole garage pretty much ends up glitched and frozen uh, if you want to know how to actually fix that if a lot of people have that problem I will make a video on how to fix it it's a pretty simple glitch to do a little bit better on ps4 once again but there is a glitch out for that so let me know if you're interested in me posting that video uh, like I said, give cars to friends glitch. I'll get working on that. And there's also a video I'm working on uh, AFK RP methods. All right. So ways to actually build up your RP. I know there's a lot of people that are always looking to build up their level. Uh, I did an older RP glitch that got me way higher than, you know, I ever. This is a higher level than my Xbox account. And I played Xbox for probably at least six months to a year more then I've had my PS4 account and I'm way above that one on this account, all right? So RP glitches are really cool. They'll get your level up. And uh, yeah, definitely I don't like being screwed with in public sessions. So usually a level 500 people leave you alone. 
But yeah, those are the upcoming things. Also, don't forget Red Dead Redemption 2. We're getting closer and closer. I think it's less than two months away now. As many of you know, I've been hyping it up, especially on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, link is down in the description as well to follow me there. But uh, yeah, upon release of Red Dead Redemption 2, I will be streaming. All right, 100%. I know a lot of you wondered, you know, where the streams have gone. Uh, streaming, I will try to stream a little bit of GTA before Red Dead comes out, but for sure, the day of release, Red Dead, I will be streaming that 100%. I'm looking forward to that game more than anything this year, all right? And that would be October 26th. So, yeah, let's hope that that one's great. I think it will be, but uh, yeah, only time will tell. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there's a lot of talking and rambling and uh, info, but... You know, I like to make these videos every now and then. Sorry if you heard that. I hit the mic. <laughs> but I like to make these videos every now and then just to connect with you guys on a more personal level. And uh, yeah, just talk. All right. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.